What's up with everybody, man? I'm your host, Ivy, and you're sparking up with Vans and Weed. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and hit that post notifications button, man. Say we got heard make this beat outside with us. Man, let's talk about Vans and Weed, the best. Yeah, you know I me? Mean? Yeah, yeah, my nigga, man. Hey, look, man. We be seeing you doing your shit. For sure, for sure. You feel me? You just had the free codes, little videos, show this shit. <laughs> yeah, little yeah, party. Yeah. Talk about the party, man. Man, talk that about shit the was vibes. Lit. Shout out, shout out my boy JL, man. Jared yeah. Lillard, man. You know, we started off just doing that as some like just fun shit, but right. then it turned into a real banger. Right. And then um, once Bud and Mill and them uh, went to Texas, um, to their little parties and shit, we just felt like we had the perfect weekend to throw a pool party. Right. Right. Um, and that shit was live. Yeah. That yeah. shit was live. It was a vibe. What? The Wasn't really no problems lit. like that. Everybody was drunk, having a good time. Right. We shot a crazy ass video, so. Can't wait for that to drop. Oh God, yeah. oh God, bro. You know what I love too? Like y'all could all come together and it could all be peaceful and just have fun. You feel me? Yeah. Everybody can't do that. Throw a throw an event and it's safe. Yeah. You feel what I'm saying? Every time I come to a DJ Millions party, her make this be whatever they doing, sure. like whatever y'all doing, I feel safe. I feel like I'm good. You feel me? Or like Book Peso too. He even talked about on his platform how like he don't allow certain shit. Yeah. You feel what I'm saying? Like you can't wear no ski mask. You no can't do all that extra either. shit. You feel me? Cause you know niggas need to feel safe. Yeah. Oh God, bro. Not nah, for sure. Just like when we did that. Um, y'all seen on the fourth we did that block party. Yeah. Talk about that too. That was crazy. I, yeah. I swear I'm like, bro, something might happen up here. Bro. Oh There's God. Too many people, but oh God. We made the culture just feel like safe. Right. Like we had kids out there, stuff for the kids. And then even later, like, we had the music when the kids left and the fire was just done, like, we still was able to, like, just have fun and feel safe. The music exactly. was playing. It was just a vibe. So it feels good to, like, just have a crazy-ass event with nothing happening. Like Especially in Oakland. Especially in Oakland. What? We ride in the heart of the East, too. Yeah. Like, what? Me? So. Yeah, no, that's big as fuck, man. Yeah. Like, no, I'm probably off of, you know, like, putting something together. And it, and it turned out so good, bro. For, yeah, sure, yeah, for, for sure, sure, for sure. Um... So, like I said, the Freak Hoes record, that motherfucker be going crazy when people see We be seeing motherfuckers on TikTok and for shit. Sure. You feel me looking for the Freak Hoes, you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Um, we seen it played on the radio, bruh. It was unreleased at the time, right? Yep. How the hell they play that shit when it was unreleased? So, um, Hella Eerie tapped in. Shout mm -hmm. out my dog, Hella Eerie. Um, and I sent him, mind you, I done sent him crazier songs than that. Mm -hmm. But I just knew Free Codes was a hit when, when he told uh, JL, like, send me that song. Make a clean version today. Right. We sent him the song. He, like, made his little mix that night. And we played that shit that Friday. He really played it the week before. We yeah. just didn't know. Right. So no, he been playing it. We just never knew he was playing it. Yeah, and yeah. And then one night we caught it. We were like, oh, yeah, we going crazy. Exactly. For like, sure. to be on the radio, even For just, sure. you feel me, even with Ty Lee, with the, with the, uh, the Hooligans record being yeah. on the radio, too. Like, that shit is dope, man. Talk about him. Man, that's the best artist in the Bay. Come on, let's talk about Tell it. Taliban four five. Yeah. Crazy part is, bro, he been rapping. For been real, going I thought crazy. he was just, like producing and shit like that. Bro, he been rapping. When I went to jail, like, like in 2018, he had like a whole tape done. Never dropped nothing. He All been right. raw. We been telling everybody been telling Taliban like, bro, go crazy, bro. You got yeah. it. Go crazy. Gotta and go now he crazy. got this sound, bro. And that ain't even the sound that he like his master craft. And y'all ain't even heard it yet, like. He go nah, crazy that for shit sure. dope. Like, he finna make some noise for sure. Yeah, yeah, we can't. Sure, we excited sure. to see that motherfucker for sure, man. See his work ethic. You feel me? Really see, you know, you know, put that good music out, man. You feel me? Especially how like you ever see like on say cheese how they be like California rap is dead. Yeah. A lot of people say that. How do you feel about that? Because I kind of feel like they say. um we, especially in the Bay, we don't have our own sound. We sound like Detroit. I talked to uh, Produced by Jit about this, too. Yeah. And I kind of feel like that isn't true when they say we don't have a sound. Because I feel like our sound is kind of just fired up. It's not what they say, oh, we stuck hyphy type shit. Yeah. It's just fired up music, ratchet music. How do you feel about that? It To me, it's a lot of underground artists, like a Taliban, mm -hmm. that... It's a lot of them that got their own sound. I feel like we don't have one specific sound. We don't. Like, it's versatile. It's hell. So, I don't know. It's just breaking through the barrier, letting everybody else hear it. Right. Like, stop uh, worrying about, like, getting on these other big platforms and just grow yourself. Exactly. Stop trying to, you know? Exactly. You got to just 
build yourself organically. Man, you man. Know? A lot of motherfuckers think they need another platform or a bigger platform to promote them or just to yeah. get them up there. But, bro, if you just work your, work hard enough, you could make it on your own. Exactly. Like, always point to LaRussell. LaRussell obviously ain't need nobody else. See the truth. That nigga used his own platform and built that shit from the ground up. Like... That nigga almost got a million followers on Instagram, bro. Like, I was doing his own shit. Oh God, bro! I was doing his own shit. You hear me? Oh God! Did they really play free calls at Great America? <laughs> <laughs> like, ain't no way that nigga. Hey, look. Man, somebody told me they did. I don't know. Hey, man. <laughs> hey, that's the answer. You hear me? That's the answer. Yeah. Oh God, bro. Um. So what you been working on other than you know, your the new record, Free Calls? Um, so I seen I had did in the club. Yeah, in the club. So in the club room. was done. So the day before, because y'all know I had went to jail, and when I was in jail, somebody broke into my crib mm -hmm. and stole all my shit. Right. In the club, we made in the club the day before we went to jail. Damn. So when they took that song, like when they took all my stuff, they mm -hmm. took the whole session, like my computer hard drive. So we dropped that song with no mix, no master, nothing. Oh. And it still was banging. It still, hey, that's how still you know was it was really a banger for real. Yeah. Um, I had a lot of my songs on my next project I'm about to drop, King of the Hill 2. All my songs was on there. Yeah. So I had to basically almost start all over. Like, mm -hmm. So I've been working on King of the Hill 2 for the last like month and a half, two months. Yeah. Um, well, that bitch wouldn't go crazy. I'm going to probably drop like next month or something. I don't yeah. know. Hey, man, we, hey, don't say that on the platform if you ain't going to drop the next month. <laughs> nah, it's, it's going to be next month. <laughs> I'm going to force it. I'm going to force it to come out next month. Yeah, definitely. This is all bangers month. on there. And it's mostly summer bangers, but y'all know I had the little setback, so I had to like kind of wait a little bit but you know we keep shit lit all year so right, it's whatever I mean shit it's, it, when summer in like what October or some shit like that it's still summertime ain't it <laughs> shit it's yeah, still summer, summer ain't over till my birthday October 24th hey me, man let's so. get into it what you doing for your birthday man you throwing a party you know I'm gonna you know I'm gonna do something crazy hey we try to be a fit that motherfucker for you sure, hear me something crazy oh god bro I'm, I think I wanna do a um I'm gonna drop King of the Hills 2 and I'm gonna double, double back with an EP on my birthday for yeah. sure. I think I want to do that. Yeah. And then throw sure. like a little release party. Yeah. Slash like birthday that. party, some crazy shit. Right. Invite right. only though. Yo, hey man, right make sure man, so we get that invite. Right, you yeah, hear me, sure. oh God, for sure, bro. For sure. uh, so the last time you you was here, you brought the plaque, the leaky bowl plaque, right? Yeah. Motherfucker was raw, but they took that shit. <laughs> what the fuck happened? Did they think that that shit was real gold or something? What did they think they was finna do with that shit? Bruh, I'm saying that's what I don't know, like. These niggas bipping crazy out here, man. But I feel like that's karma because I made the uh, the bipping lessons beat. Well, <laughs> I feel like that's my karma. I should have never made the beat. Right. Like that's a real hit. Hey, like, no, people, that is a real hit though. People play that, bro. I'm gonna tell y'all a story real quick. So story. So my neighbor, I'm outside uh, cleaning up. Mm -hmm. She come outside like, is your name your name Herbert? And I'm like, yeah, that's my name. She like, Herb made this beat. Mm -hmm. I'm like, yeah. So like, let me tell you something. I just got bit last week at my at my gas station down the street. Damn. And I'm like, oh shit, what's she finna say? Right. She was like, I sent it to my people in Texas, and they sent me a link back to a song. And then I seen you in the video, <laughs> and I'm like, hmm, this look like my neighbor. Right. Did you bit my car? And she was like, Did you, she said, uh, do you know about this bipping lessons? And I'm like, I couldn't even lie. I'm like, yeah, I know. Right. She's like, y'all need to be careful because y'all got people way in Carolina doing it and they sending it to me and I see that it's you. And you, she's like, be careful about the message you putting out there because people are really doing this shit. Hey, why nigga gonna move on the song damn. though? Damn. I'm hey, like, that's crazy. That is crazy, bro. You see uh, Molly Bo get bipped up in motherfucking. Yeah, that shit was crazy. That shit was crazy, bro. I ain't gonna lie, that shit everywhere, nigga. Hey, he a fool, nigga. though. He any. He any as fuck. He a fool. <laughs> <laughs> he know how to capitalize off some shit. No, I swear. Oh God, oh God, I bro. But God. yeah, I ain't gonna lie. I was leave. I left from here, and it was probably like an hour and thirty minutes after, like I was gone. It was really my fault. I shouldn't have left that shit in the car. But right. who think they gonna steal a a plastic plaque? Right. That just shows the accomplishments to what somebody achieved musically. It's not worth no money. Exactly. I already got the money. Exactly. What you, you what you think is thinking so, off of the kid? They just took. They bit them. Took it. Probably thought they hit. Stupid. Damn. Stupid as fuck, Stupid. bro. Somebody yeah, got that shit and just sitting on it. It's Dumbass. In the dumpster somewhere. Man, nah, that's fucked up, but though. All I gotta do is order another one, though. Oh, for real, work like Tap that? Tap in with Gazi or somebody, they're gonna send me another one. Oh, there's nothing there, bro. Get yeah. your plaque back. Like, we're just fucked. Bro. I'm probably gonna wait till it go platinum. And just, just double get, back like that exactly. and get both of them at the same time. Right, right, right. Yeah, yeah nah, bro. Niggas is weird as fuck. Hey, nah. Oh, yo city, nigga. They be talking about Richmond. <laughs> no shit going on in Richmond for real. Oakland, crazy. Oakland is crazy. Bro, they robbing ice cream man and shit. What no, the fuck? We don't talk about that. That was, <laughs> that was out of pocket. That was out of pocket. That was out of pocket, bro. Uh, so I want to talk a little bit, you know, about you being um, a girl dad, having a daughter. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah, talk a little bit about your baby man, uh, or just you know becoming a father and you know raising the, uh, a girl. 
She looked uh, just like you too. That's hella funny. Yeah, that's crazy. <laughs> I love my baby. I got two daughters. Though. You got two daughters? Like, basically, what? Like, you know. You got two kids. You know, you know, like. Hey right, man, look. Nalea, my baby, Nana, that's my biological daughter, but mm -hmm. like they're both my kids for real. Yeah, for sure. I love them to death. Like I didn't did some stupid shit ever since having having them, but like they like they keep me going for sure. Right. Like it had been times where I just want to really give give shit up for real. And yeah. I know I got for me two kids that's basically counting on me for real. So right, that's a fact. They keep me going for real, and yeah. I love them. So yeah, that's all spot in my heart. That's all I can say, man. Take care of your kids, man. Nah, a lot yeah, of niggas out sure. here ain't take care of their kids. For sure, for got sure. the wind blowing. It's okay. We outside <laughs> with it. Anything can happen. Nah, hey, yeah. I ain't gonna lie. Before you before you came over here, why a squirrel had came up to me, nigga? I start petting that bitch. I swear to God. <laughs> I swear, no, no. I'm talking about today, bro. Like just yeah, bro. I start petting that motherfucker, bro. I'm really a fair, what. They call with it? no food Disney princess no, Yeah No Man, food No crazy. nothing that's I ain't crazy. had to sing to the bitch Nothing The motherfucker <laughs> came to me That shit crazy bro Hell yeah. yeah we outside with it Um, When is the next Drinking and thinking bro This my favorite one I ain't gonna lie Y'all be having that motherfucker Fired I think up, we like, doing one on Um we might be Nah I'ma say it Cause I'ma make these niggas do it Yeah make them niggas do it man We, we supposed to shoot Free codes the, um, the second part of the video Cause you know they was gone Yeah And Bud and Mill is like Hosting the song Right So We supposed to shoot part two With all the DJs there um, Labor Day weekend Yeah Oh yeah We in that motherfucker man So when you do the clips You need to tag Bud and Mill And say Drinking yeah, and thinking Yeah where the party at nigga Free codes They party edition Right Featuring Herb and JL. Yeah. And we're gonna shoot the second part of the video. Oh yeah, let me put that shit on. Let me put me in give me a little cameo <laughs> that motherfucker. You hear me? <laughs> oh God, bro. So how do you know a song is a hit song? You got so many, like with Lil' Kayla, Leaky Bo, fucking Fredo, all these niggas, right? How do you know when a song is a hit? When I make the beat. When you I swear because it's so weird. Like a lot of artists would be mad as fuck. They be mad at me like Bro, I know you got hella beats Nigga, no I don't yeah. I don't sit there and make When I was making beats For my first like Three, four years mm -hmm. I would sit there every day And do that shit all day Every day uh, uh, Do yeah. whatever But ever since like Make His Pockets Hurt And all them songs mm -hmm. came out You need space In between you making Certain beats Because you don't want to Keep making the same type of beat Right So and when I make a beat I make it specifically for an artist So I'll sit there And just be thinking about some uh, Whatever Come up with it Boom, make it Right. And I hear an artist on it And I specifically want that artist to get on the beat Right. And I know I done recorded all these artists before Lil' Kayla, Fredo, Taliban, feel me, Baby Zay, everybody So I know who gonna sound perfect on what beat And I know if it's gonna be it or not I just know But what if the lyrics is is not good? How I'm not you gonna know mess though? with no artist that ain't gonna have no good lyrics That's true Like you gotta comp we gotta have like chemistry for you to me to just like tell you to come get on this beat I made for you. We already gotta have that certain chemistry. I know exactly how you gonna come on it. So I just I just know. I just know. Like free codes I knew. Right. Like in the club I knew. Yeah. Uh Homer Simpson I knew. It's just I just be knowing. Anger. Plus a lot of the artists I deal with are so versatile, like I just I trust them so much to just get on the record and do what they do. Right. And then I'm a producer. Like who really produces I ain't just like I said last time I really get into a record And really freaking do my own thing to it Like right. if I'm in the studio with you recording You ain't just finna get on my shit doing whatever Yeah no for sure I'm a tweak on you and make you do it how it's just sound Yeah like, you know Yeah So yeah I feel like I just I just know what it sound like for real For sure so it's not like So you always in the studio with the artists that you working with 90% of the time 90 for sure time. Yeah. A lot of people just be sending their beats over And I don't not like in the studio that. with them I don't like, Cause I, I do certain stuff to my beats after I do post production Right. A lot of producers don't do that They just send the, the beat over or whatever an engineer do I don't like doing that Cause right. some engineers are not gonna make your beat sound like how you want your beat to sound Nah that's a fact So yeah Yeah man Shit I ain't gonna lie Like I always say like You definitely like my top five in the bay when it comes to producers for like sure, them sure. they're number one bro because like i said like the the, the fucking beats just be so fucking hard bro <laughs> like every time every time i hear that her made it i'll be like yeah i know this gonna be a fucking banger yeah, for like, sure for sure that's you feel love. me and everybody don't have that and the type of the type of love you get in the bay is amazing bro like how does that make you feel that so many people fuck with you because and you young too yeah. you feel what i'm saying like it take niggas them the 30 years to get where you are now and you're not even where your you, you haven't even reached your full potential you feel me so i don't know what it, I, that's why i be telling people bro i think i was destined to really do this shit because oh God, bro. so much shit didn't happen to me and i didn't bounce back every time with this shit Ain't that crazy? and it come back harder right. like and it is hella people behind me when it comes to this shit like i got niggas every city like I don't really put myself in certain situations that a motherfucker might feel some type of way about me. Well, I, I don't think so, but 
I try to touch everybody in a certain like aspect differently. Like we gotta develop a connection on our own. Right. Fuck what I had with somebody else. What do I have with you? Right. You feel me? So I feel like that's what it is. Like, cause people really love me out here for real. Yeah, I really, really for sure feel the yeah. love for sure. Yeah, bro, you got to, nigga. For it's sure, everywhere. Sure. You feel me? Yeah. So just speaking about you know just certain artists or whatever. Um, how do you deal with certain artists that be like, okay, like I'm not feeling you no more, even though we made music together. Because you start fucking with some other people that I'm not fucking with. <laughs> we ain't gotta get you know you know what I'm talking about, but yeah. yeah. Um, I still love you. Do your shit. Hey, that's like, hey, look. What can I the, say? That's the most professional way you can say. It. I mean, hey, look, I that's still real. love you. Do your shit. Cause right. like we got hits hits together, so it's like I'm not gonna never downplay you or talk bad about you. Right. I wish we could still work. But if you don't want to work with me, I just gotta res- do nothing but respect it. Right. But I'm a. Cont- I hope that you go crazy and you do your shit, right. and I hope you still feel the same way about me. Yeah. Because if you don't, you just hating. Yeah. You know? At this point. So yeah. Oh God, bro. Um, what's the, what's the um, all end goal for you? What do you want to do? What do you want to take this shit? Do you want to focus more on like you know just producing? But we see you also are an artist. You're making music as well. So what do you want to focus more on, or is it like a? Do you want to, I don't know, just sign and then just be an artist? Do you want to just produce for other people? What do you want to do? I'm not really no rapper, though. You're not like, a rapper? I'm not really a rapper. Like, Stop I lying, do it nigga. sometimes on some just, like, catting off. Like, but it be sounding good, though. Like ain't the private the dancer, part? I cat it off. Yeah. Crowd family, cat it off. Mm-hmm. Free hoes, cat it off. The beat just was good, so I'm right. like, I'm going to just get on it. But... Don't get me wrong, I do know some of them songs, real. they really do sound good. Yeah. So... It's like, I don't know, I might take it there one day, but right now I just want to stick to being a producer for mm. real. Yeah. Producing. For sure, for Met sure. A and R in a little bit too. A and R putting records together. Mm-hmm. Um, How's that? How's that going? That's cool. That's cool. It's different. Mm-hmm. But I feel like I've always been an A and R. Like Russ always told me, like, you basically doing what I do. You put songs together without you even having to make the beat. Right. And you construct the whole song, the whole albums for people. So right. I don't know. I could really do it all for real, I think. So you can do it all. Now. I don't want to be boxed in as a producer, artist, and or I'm just her. her just her, yeah. Me. You just yeah. do everything all around artists. Yeah. You feel me? Just whatever you do, like you just come together. Oh, yeah, yeah sure. just even you just bring your two hoods together, like with the Fredo Bass and the T.O. Greasy. Like that motherfucker was raw. Like everybody can't bring. They wouldn't even together. expecting that. Yeah. When I did that and put that together, they wouldn't expect it. I bet they wasn't, bro. We see you in the hoop and shit, yo. That shit was crazy. <laughs> That shit was crazy. No, that so. shit was crazy. Yeah, nah, was for lit. real. Free Grease, man. Free Grease. Free that man, Free bro. My boy, listen. Grease a real nigga. Yeah. Send me 500 yeah. from jail to go give me a new computer. Nah, that's that shit love. was love for real. Because it was love. niggas outside that wasn't even trying to offer me nothing. That's crazy. And that nigga sent it from the jailhouse. Right. Like, I'm like, oh, yeah. This that's because niggas see the this. potential. Like, sure. you feel me? Like, yeah. That song, Grease, you a stepper. And a set that motherfucker. For sure. Bang. Mind you, I made that beat with my boy Nappy, man. Nappy. I Shout think, out him, man. That's why, I, that's why I say I like to record my own. Like, um, when artists get on my beats, I like to record it myself because sometimes I'll make a beat as uh, somebody has sent me a loop or something like that. And nigga, I'll send it to the dude to like to uh, record it and shit. Mm-hmm. And like, you know, they be so ready to drop songs, they don't really care about post production and shit sometimes because right. it sounds so good. Right. I be saying I'm gonna put my tag on it, the other producer tag on it, and the producer hit me like, bruh, where my tag at? I'm like, bruh, let me try to send this shit. The song already out. Damn. Like, Man, that's fucked up. Right. I'm not even the nigga to even do no shit like that. I done already got millions of views on shit. It's time to, for me to put my young people on. So if you a producer, bruh, you need to put everybody tags on the beat from the jump. Oh, God. Or become an engineer and do all that shit yourself because yeah. I don't like feeling like I'm. Snaking a nigga or whatever the case may be, when I don't even do that. Right. You know what I'm saying? So exactly. You gotta make sure all your T's is crossed, and your eyes is dotted. Oh God. For real. So that's a fact. Yeah. That's a fact, man. How do your how do your your pops feel about you know this this newfound fame type shit? Like, you know, I know he uh he in jail, but yeah. when you talk to him, how did it make him feel? He don't even be no. Well, he don't be no. I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna lie. Let me let me not lie. I ain't gonna lie. Somebody from uh, I think they was like from. 85th or some, I think they went to jail out there with him in Nebraska mm-hmm. in the feds. And he came in like, bro, I think your son Crib just got broke into. He like, nigga, how you know my son? <laughs> he said, ain't your son heard make this beat? He like, nigga, yeah. He like, yeah, son. Crib just got broke into. My yeah. dad like, what the fuck? He called me from jail like, nigga, what the fuck you got going on? Right. I'm right. like, nothing. He like, nigga, I know your house just got broken into. I'm like, what the fuck? How you know that? Yeah. He like, bro, they know you, you out here, yeah. bro. 
So I be telling him, but he really can't see everything, like right. for real. So he just be having to go uh, word of mouth. But he can't wait. He can't wait to get out, man. Because he man. he gonna be coming to some fat when he get out. Yeah, so. well, yeah. When you he might the, got he yeah. might got a couple more years. A couple more years. Yeah. He went back to do the um the excessive uh, sentencing or whatever you can do in the feds when mm -hmm. they try to give you like 15 years or whatever. Yeah. And he already been in there like six. Yeah. It's been like six years. So. I think you got a couple more years left and then oh, yeah. be back home. When he get out, yeah, I already sure. know you're going to be already famous and hella shit, bro. We, <laughs> we know it's coming. You nah, feel yeah, me? free pops, man. Free pops. Oh, God. Free that man, bro. Um, so, what would you say is your favorite song that you produced so far? Damn. Yeah. I know it's hard. I got to go with crazy. Crazy? Why? I got to go with crazy because... That's the biggest song So right. it's easy for me to say that Yeah But as far as like Producing some shit Damn I think it'll have to be It might gotta be Notorious Because I made that one That shit's so With hard. Fredo I was listening I was watching a movie And like that's when I knew I was hella creative I heard the sample in the back And I had never heard That Biggie song before I'm like what the fuck is that Right I, Shazam didn't hella shit And I'm like oh yeah So when I went to YouTube I made that beat I made that beat in like two minutes. Once I chopped the sample up. That shit crazy. I made that shit in like two minutes. Put the bass, because my bass is always be crazy. I put the bass first, and I don't never do that. Right. And then I just got creative with that motherfucker. So that, at that point, that's when I started really freaking the samples. Mm -hmm. I think it was, no, we did Notorious. We did Homer Simpson and then Notorious after that. Right. And after the after Notorious, I started really fucking with the samples for real. I yeah. started really freaking them things. So yeah, that motherfucker, I that's my song. That. That's nigga. what kicked it all off, I so I'm going to go with that. that. Yeah, what? for sure. Oh God, nigga, sure, you and sure. you and Fredo like the dynamic duo type shit. Nah, like every sure. song y'all got be a banger. We finna go to the studio after this. What? Yeah. Go meet them right now. Yeah, they ain't working. Hey, bro, we, we doing we twenty four hour sessions in that motherfucker. Hey, no, me, that's Fredo, serious. Fredo, Tally, Chilla, Baby Zay. Right. We going crazy. Right I love now. Baby Zay too. He came on. He came on here. We had a good conversation Man, too. Next year he finna kick it off. Yeah, bro. He I going like crazy right now. Yeah. He going. Uh, he going crazy with Link. Big Link on the track Yeah yeah. Producer Up and coming Oh god Go Get y'all some beats from Link Man he going crazy Hey shout out some producers And some artists that people May not know of That people need to check out uh, Go check out Big J uh, From the Hill mm -hmm. Baby Zay um, Female artist Chrissy Cola She going crazy out mm -hmm. um, I think she's from the city Yeah um, She going crazy it's a lot of artists, man, that I show love to. Yeah. Like, if I don't say your name, don't scold me. So right, I'm just right. Stop right there. I'm going to just stop. Yeah. It's hell of them. It's a lot of people going crazy in the Bay for real. Like, yeah. I love all my artists. When artists come up to me showing me songs, people, we really talented out here. Yeah, oh, God, bro. So, I'm trying to tell niggas. It's what? only a matter of time before we break through some shit. Oh, God. Oh, God. What do you feel like that's going to take, though? Because of the, we so, like, you know, we get the narrative of never helping each other and shit like that. What do you think it's going to take for us to really blow for the Bay to blow? Bro, we got to work with each other. That's it. That's all it is. That's it. We holding ourselves back. We really is, bro. And I, don't, I, don't, I really don't understand it. Like, I know certain niggas can't, it just can't happen. But if certain niggas got together and did some songs, mm -hmm. do you know, like, and I feel like it's me. I feel like I got to do it. Yeah. You do. Um, people was telling me that. Right. I have to be the one to put all these niggas on the song. Oh, God, bro. Like, some DJ Kelly shit, do a whole album like, with them niggas. You know what I mean? Of course, I know I'm connected to shit, so I know what ain't good and what's, oh, what's yeah, good. Oh, of course. Right. So, it's a certain boundary with shit, but I feel like I got to be the one to bring it all together for real. Man, bro. Shit, come to sure. Richmond with that shit, bro. Them niggas <laughs> out here, bro. Politic too much, bro. I'm like, damn, y'all can really make good music, but y'all niggas. Yeah, Richmond fired up right Richmond now. Fired up. <laughs> but they make good ass music. It's oh, just God. fired up. It just fired up, bro. Shout out Blaster. I fuck with Blaster. Hey, no, speaking of Blaster, you feel me? Um, even when she worked with him, you know, on the um, you know, the stupid flow. Yeah. And even on the uh the new tape, the first track, right? You did the first track on that motherfucker with yeah. Weez Gotti, I yep. think. Yeah. Uh, Waymo, uh, Waymo, I think. Waymo, okay, Waymo, yeah, 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 my bad. Um yeah, speak on just working with Blaster and shit like that. Blaster raw as fuck. <laughs> Let's talk about it. Blaster cold for real. Yeah. He's one of my favorite rappers yeah. for sure. Oh God, he go bro. crazy. He go crazy. He's easy to work with because he he could punch in and he could have that shit written already. Right. So he could come at you hella different ways. Yeah. And then I ain't gonna lie, being in jail probably made that nigga a better rapper too. That's like, what he said too. <laughs> you know yeah. like, because when you go through certain situations like that, what he went through and what he going through and shit like. You got a real story behind your shit, so you yeah. can feel it in the music. Right. Man. So, yeah. Oh, God, bro. Everybody ain't got... What the fuck is that? That's the squirrel I was talking about, bro. <laughs> oh, God. So, yeah, I just wanted to talk about... We talked about it off-camera already, but I just want to talk about, like, you know, you... Um, 
y'all being able to like with the drinking and thinking the fucking free clothes party y'all being able to, to sell tickets how did that happen how was it you know how are y'all able to just have it sold out in like a few days or a few hours type shit so i really came into the scene like because i stopped djing for hella years like mm -hmm. i was djing like 2017 uh for like two years and then i stopped and then i came back into it last year um, in the middle of last year yeah. And they already had the ball rolling Fake way with that shit yeah, So I gotta sure. get credit to Butter and Mill Oh god Cause And you know Butter a new DJ For like, real Butter started DJing last year too Swear to god so, Like he started DJing last year yeah. I've been with DJ He started last year And already right. came in the game Top DJ Yeah Top He ain't top He ain't top three He top two Yeah he going crazy And Mill ain't top two He top he, Them niggas is the top right now Yeah oh god like, bro They going crazy Like yeah. when I just did the party this weekend My pool party was cranking mm -hmm. But the other parties just wasn't it Like mm -hmm. they wasn't it like that Like right. you could You could feel the presence of them not being there You could feel it Right like because they've been like putting in the work. Yeah, they have. Honestly, it ain't just about throwing the party out, uh, throw the party. You gotta have organization behind it. Right. For sure. And them niggas got it. Yeah, man. So just learning under them, um, from what I've been throwing the parties with them for the last year, I'm ready to start throwing my own shit yeah, next year. Yeah. With them. Like, you feel me? We got a couple collabs coming soon though. Yeah. But then my dogs are they going crazy. They is real. going crazy. Hey man, definitely start throwing your selling own out shit. parties the first day. Man, I just want to be, I mean like Drop more tickets. Nigga, I'm trying sell to get out. my tickets, bro. I'll be like, damn, the first tier already gone. Nah, yeah, for sure. Fuck, bro, I gotta pay thirty dollars for it. Man, I'm gonna <laughs> pay it though, just so I can be fired up. Nah, nigga, yeah, what? For sure. You hear me? Yeah, they lit right now. Yeah, they my lit. dogs, man. Oh sure. god, man. So what does it take to be a, a DJ? People think that you just have to throw on a song. And different music Like a put your phone on the ox And just put on different mm -hmm. music What does it take to be a real DJ though? What does that mean? What's the definition of a real DJ? You gotta know how to control the crowd mm. Like But always tell me like Bro you know how to really control the crowd like, Right Like it ain't just about uh, Play certain shit here and there No you gotta control it Keep that shit lit Right Like even in the beginning Like if you DJ The hardest sets to do Is the 10 o'clock to 11 11 to 12 Because you don't want to Burn out no other DJs Right And play all the other songs You gotta play all the Different shit Right So your versatility Play all that R&B shit That smooth Like Larry June type shit yeah. I don't never even hear that In the club though That's what I'm saying You gotta be never versatile Never Larry June bro. That's I'm not like... saying A DJ's bad That's just saying like They need to expand The horizon Right Like right. I got problems With that too sometimes Like my R&B bag Ain't that deep Yeah But I learned from niggas Like Slim and And Mill and Butter and they be helping me with that shit. So yeah. it's just you gotta really practice. Oh, it ain't wow. just download songs and just doing shit. You gotta practice that shit. I like, ain't gonna lie to that. I didn't. I didn't. I didn't woke up in the morning and was practicing, and I didn't call butter, and that nigga was doing the same shit and right. at the same exact time. Right. Practicing. You gotta put in the work for that shit for sure. On oh, God, man. Yeah. On oh, God, yeah. Cause for sure, for the sure. DJ really make the party. Cause mm -hmm. I've been to a party. Right. My my boy had to a party, and the DJ just wasn't playing the music that niggas wanted to hear, bro. Yeah. I'm like, damn, like, he'll play a good song and then play some bullshit. And I'm like, you got to keep yeah. it going. Like, if you play this exactly. song, play something else that you know they're going to get the, the crowd hyped up too. Yeah. Why the fuck is you playing motherfucking, I don't know, let's say <laughs> the, the nigga playing fucking, I don't know, some fucking Beyonce, then he go play some fucking Taylor Swift or some shit like that. Yeah. What the fuck, like, bro, yeah. keep the keep the sound going. If exactly. It's the same vibe. Yeah. You don't want to hear that other bullshit. Keep that shit lit. Yeah. Keep that shit lit, bro. I ain't going to lie, bro. This is for you, bro. If you see this shit, nigga, <laughs> stop DJing, She talking bro. to you, man. I'm talking to you. I'm talking to you, nigga. I ain't gonna lie. I already told the nigga in person, but you gotta hear it on fans of week, <laughs> nah, yeah, for sure. Do better, nigga. Go practice. Practice, practice bro. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. Like, I should DJ that bitch. I ain't gonna lie. My oh, ox court went more crazy than that court, shit. Sure. I done seen niggas tell the DJ to leave. I didn't see no ox. <laughs> niggas done told the DJ to leave before and plugged up the ox. Yeah, bro. It's that serious, bro. That's what he should have did, bro. I don't know what he was doing sure, that day, yeah. but hey, it is what the fuck it is, I guess. <laughs> hey, man, what does her make this be doing his free time other than making beats, parties, all that other shit? What you doing? <sighs> Nothing at home, chilling. <laughs> For real? <laughs> yeah. Nah, I like, uh, I play the game sometimes here and there. Yeah, I be whooping niggas in Madden though. Madden in 2K for yeah, sure. Yeah, for sure. Uh, shit, try to spend as much time with my daughter as possible for right. real. Like even with the other baby, you know, I would try to spend time with them. Mhm. Mm um, cause get like doing the DJ shit and producing like a lot of your time be taken up. Yeah. People don't be thinking I be busy. I be busy every day. I bet. Like doing shit. And then, you know, I'm just dealing with some legal shit, too. So, my my life is just a movie right now. But man, man. I be trying to do everything, spend time with my family, 
you know, people getting old and stuff. So hell yeah, bro. You gotta it cher- like and the world is crazy right now. So world you, is crazy. You gotta cherish your people while they're here. I for swear real, to God, so. bro. Shit, feel like niggas would be dying every day. That's what I'm saying. So, crunk, you know what I'm saying. We just gotta spend time with our folks. So oh God, as much bro. time as I get to do that, then I'm gonna do that. Man, bro. go see your family, man. They all your, they all you got, bro. Them the only people that's gonna love you unconditionally. Exactly. No matter, no matter what you do, you can kill somebody. They still gonna love your ass. I swear. You feel what I'm saying? Oh God, uh, you don't watch TV. I do what But you be I, be, I, be ben, I binge watch shows So I don't like Sit there and just watch it Every week Yeah So I might I watch it either. And then I could watch A whole se- a whole like series Within like Four days Yeah so, If it's good Like But I sit there I don't really I don't, My life is crazy I don't even know What I do throughout the day This nigga just be <laughs> I just wake up And just do some shit Just be like, oh Yeah on go That nigga just be fired up man. I really be on some music shit For real Like most of my day Be revolved around Trying to do something musically That can add to my craft Right You feel yeah. me So Oh God, when y'all gonna put together a tour, man? We wanna see a tour. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. I know. Hey, baby, Zay on that motherfucker, motherfucking Fredo bags, all them niggas, bruh. You I feel gotta me? put it together. Put that motherfucker together, bruh. I, I know niggas is playing y'all shit in different states and For different sure. little Come on, bro, I be seeing that shit, bro. For sure. Put together a tour, man. We gotta have uh, Tally and Fredo down there headlining. Yeah, oh Fake God, bro. bruh. Yeah. Yeah. A wavy tour. Yeah. What? Yeah, the wavy tour. that motherfucker be raw, bro. You, be here, you say here first, man. It's a week, man. This nigga better <laughs> put together tour. a tour, bro. <laughs> nah, for sure. You feel me on God, bro. When y'all me, gonna, and, uh, me and Tally need to drop a tape. Tell that nigga stop. Hey, you. Stop playing. Man, Tag bro. him on this. I'm going to tag him on this motherfucker. Him. He need to go ahead and do a tape. Urban you, Tally tape. All my beats. I ain't going to rap on none of this shit. He can yeah. have it all. Right. We're going to have hits. Yeah. That's, they not ready for that. Yeah, nah, they is ready for that. I want to hear that motherfucker, bro. <laughs> I just, tag him, tag I'm gonna tag that nigga, man. Right. Cause I just, I just love good music, bro. Nah, and I'm yeah, like, sure. they need to really tap in with the Bay Area underground, not just for focus sure. on who is just hella big right now that yeah. we have, which is kind of limited. We don't have hella, hella people that's hella big. We don't. We don't. Probably like four, five. Bro, what? Mm. If that, like, yeah. yeah, like we need, we need more, more minimum out here. We, you know, like niggas check in for real, for real, yeah. bro. Oh God, bro. Uh, what else do you want to do? Do you ever like, like, do you want to act? Be in movies and shit like that Shows So the crazy part about it is I grew up in the church So I always was acting in the, in the plays Yeah They had me in the biggest roles At my school I went to a Christian I went to a Christian school When I was um, Like elementary school Yeah So I always was acting In the little plays And all that So right. I, that background Has been solidified for me So if I had a movie role I'll for sure be able to knock Better it out Better take that motherfucking bro sure. What? Oh, for God. Sure. You feel me? I can see her a little acting and shit. Maybe be a little yeah. drug dealer or something. I don't know. A little power shit. You watch Power? Yeah, for sure. What? what? Power. Hell yeah. Who your favorite character? You know it's Tariq. That's my favorite, too. I ain't gonna lie. I'll be fucking Tariq. with... I'll be fucking with... Um, what's bruh name? I forgot that nigga. I like Kane, too. Only because Kane... I don't know. Did like, they kill him or not? I don't know. I think Kane did. I hope he did. It looked like, like he got shot. I want him, I want him to I don't die know. though. It looked like he had got shot. He do be buzzing, but yeah. that nigga just be that nigga just hella funny. He just be hating on Tariq so bad. So bad. And then he got he, like, <laughs> bro, got with the bitch. Like, you, come on down. Yeah. Like, if you wrong, I go lie. They need to, they need to kill that bitch too. I'm tired of her, bro. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. I can't wait to the new season, nigga. Yeah, that's what Off be crazy. Niggas. Yeah. Sure. Oh God, bro. I don't think Ghost did. You, you don't think Ghost dead? It was no. a whole funeral. What do you mean? They can't what bring that, that nigga mean? back. He is dead. What that mean? What you mean? What that 50 mean? Fifty Cent. He do anything. Man, if they bring him for what though? It's already a whole new, whole new. I ain't gonna lie. Ghost was that nigga though. Ghost yeah. was that nigga. But I feel like it's just, it's too late. Yeah. Yeah. They can't. They can't. Bring it is hella years later. Yeah, bro. Sure. When when the last time Power was on the, the original Power, like what three years ago, four years ago, some shit three, like three, that. Three, four years ago. Them took you sure. that long to come back? Nah, nigga, that nigga did. Yeah. That nigga did. Bro. <laughs> oh God, bro. Yeah, yeah. Um. So, what's the most important thing about you know being a producer and just uh you know getting yourself out there? Well, how do you get yourself out there? Um. What did I do? I don't. I don't want to get nobody this advice. I was just sending niggas shit like. Yeah. That's why the Leaky Boat record got so kind of like fucked up behind the scenes. Mm-hmm. Cause I just sent them the shit like it was like some weird. I don't want to put another producer through that. Right. You gotta try to like lock it. You first of all, you gotta be raw. Your shit gotta be him. Yeah. Cause it's a lot of producers out here that got shit. Yeah. Like raw shit. Yeah. Like industry type shit mm-hmm. at 12 years old. Right. I be seeing that shit, bro. That shit crazy. So you got to work on your craft and make sure you got that shit first. Yeah. And then I would try to link up. A lot of artists will link up with producers, though. Like mm-hmm. nowadays, you got to lock in with an artist mm-hmm. and go crazy. Yeah, you do. 
Cause I feel like I didn't really get my Yeah I had Me and Lil Kayla locked in mm-hmm. When we was doing our shit Make his pockets hurt And private dancer And all that shit yeah. We locked in She come to the crib Recording shit And having me make the beats Right there on the spot Right My name got bigger Yeah Baby J Bippin' lessons All that shit My name got bigger Feel me right. Fredo Bags Took off after that Cause mm-hmm. he already was going crazy Yeah He had He was probably at The littest moment of his Like time Me working with him Was when I, we first started working Yeah um, so Took off from there So mm-hmm. I feel like you gotta lock in With an artist nowadays You can't just uh, you, Some people send beats To every artist uh, mm-hmm. But When you lock in And create a, your own Organic sound That sets you apart From everybody else Yeah So I feel I, like That's what you gotta do I would feel like That's kinda hard too To make your organic sound Cause it's kinda like It's just so many different people That people get so inspired By others That oh, they yeah. try to like Damn their copy They sound Instead exactly. of just making their own yeah. How did you really Just sit down And just be like Okay I'm, this is my own sound Cause you do have your own sound It's like I don't even know How to I describe got like, it I got that club party shit Yeah I think that's what my sound is That's like, that club party shit I done tried to make Like I fuck with Stockton Like tight beats And yeah. the samples And all the heavy uh, drums And shit But It's a certain I can't do all that All mm-hmm. the time I have to like and I be in the clubs So right. I've been in the clubs For the last five, six years So yeah. It's easier for me To make that sound Right Because I'm always around That type of music Yeah So I feel like That's where my sound came from That's that mainstream music too That's yeah. how you, you them, them, club, them strip club music All yeah. that music Yeah That's how you don't get Yeah blood. That's where my sound came from yeah. It's just my environment Right and It just happened to just I push that shit out every day So yeah. it's like yeah Keep doing your shit nigga <laughs> Not for I sure. love it bro uh, sure, We sure. gonna do some more challenges you start doing the channels was hella years ago. You stopped doing the motherfuckers. That's bro. when I got the most followers I did at one time. When I did my challenge, I did the the, the Barbie and uh, AV. Yeah, I'm a dead boy. They was going back and forth. Back and <laughs> forth. <laughs> no, on. I ain't gonna lie. I was on some messy shit. You was on some messy shit. Towards the end, I was you on some messy shit because I'm like, everybody watching, I'm getting followers. Let's yeah. just keep this shit going. Right. Bro, Barbie and AV didn't even want to do this shit no more, but they like, fuck it, we all getting followers, let's just right. keep going. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then it was all love. Y'all, and y'all actually cahoots together. It was together. going crazy, though, yeah. for sure. They was going crazy, bro. For Bring sure. the challenges back, man. I got like, how many, I got like 6,000 followers off that shit. That shit crazy. For sure. That like, shit I got crazy. like six. I was at like 2,000 followers. Yeah. Went up to like eight. I'm like, ooh, shit. Just off that, bro. I ain't gonna lie. Challenges. Our moments be. T- your ass out of here. But you gotta interact with your with with social media now. You have to be interactive, or you ain't gonna do shit. Oh God! That's bro. why LaRussell's so good because he Man. interacts with his fans so he crazy. Really like do. The best, the best I've seen out, the best I've seen probably in the industry right now. Oh, the way God. he connects with his fans, yeah, is ridiculous. And now he give out the game. Niggas don't give out free game, bro. Niggas will never tell you nothing. I ain't gonna lie. He the truth. He the truth, bro. I need to work with him. Yes, hey, look, he LaRussell. My beats would be crazy. Yeah, what? Going so you better send that nigga something. You better well, you just, you just never know. Man. Russell tap that's, in, man. And he, and he a humble nigga, bro. Tap in with that nigga. That's nah, what we did. Sure. He, what? Tap in with that nigga, man. Yeah, yeah. Oh God, bro. What's next for her? Other than you know dropping the King of the Hill too, all the other shit. What's next? Um, I'm gonna drop. Summer Walker ain't coming out no more. Uh, I can't Why drop not? that. I can't drop that. I'm gonna revamp it and probably put other artists on it, but I feel like I got bigger stories to tell right now than uh, dealing with some the some Walker shit. Right. Even though I ain't trying to not get a ladies nothing, but it's yeah, like damn. Yeah, give us something, nigga. Give but the that's lady. that's me on all them songs. I don't want to do that shit. I ain't ready for that. I ain't ready to come out as a full blown artist shit. I don't it's see It's too why much not. come with that. What you mean? It's too much come with being an artist. They expect too much of you. As a producer, I can sit back and mm. do as I you know right. make beats for people. As an artist, they don't expect too much from me. And then I I got to focus on doing that and being a producer. Yeah. When I want to really focus on producing, I feel like that's going to be too much. But who knows? Maybe down the line, I might do it. Yeah. Uh, I'm cool where I'm at right now. Mm, I feel swimming, it. Swimming, man. Stop playing. Oh, God, bro. This has been another segment of Sparking Up with Bands of Weed, man. Once again, we got Herb outside with us. We out. <laughs>